local Navy sailor gave his family the greatest holiday gift he could himself. New at 710 News reporter Kerry Chow was at Holy Trinity School this afternoon where he surprised his son with an unexpected homecoming. It wasn't Navy technician Brad Haney's toughest mission, but coming home early from deployment to surprise his son at Holy Trinity School may be his favorite mission. Pastor Dale. Hi, Daddy! 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 Five-year-old Bastion Haney hasn't seen his dad in four months. He wasn't expecting to see him for at least another day. I was trying not to tell Bastion about the surprise, but trying not to lie to him at the same time, so I was just being very vague. Because I thought you were going to be late. Yeah. I was a little late, huh? Immediately after the surprise reunion, the two played Legos in the school's day camp. The elder Haney, who operates a nuclear reactor on the USS Asheville, says his son is a fighter like his dad. When he was born, he was in the hospital for like six weeks, and we're driving to the hospital every single day. Young Bastion has cerebral palsy and suffers from epilepsy. During her husband's deployments, Bernadette says it can get tough. It's really tough with his health challenges and everything, but I try to raise him to feel like he's just like everyone else. Bastion's early Christmas didn't end with a visit from his dad. The school, courtesy of Legoland, presented the family with free tickets to the park. We got a Lego park! It was an afternoon gift exchange no one in the family will forget. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're my friend. <laughs> in El Cajon, Carrie Chow, 10 News. While Haney has been stationed off the coast of Central America, he deploys in February. That's what the holidays are all about right there. Yeah, and good for her for being able to keep that secret. That's <laughs> She's tough a great sometimes. job at that. Amazing. Well, as you mentioned,